Hey there co-workers, hope you're not too tired from all that overwork at Grisco as there's always something more to do and it's time for another fantastic rotation and opportunity to have a blast with Salmon Run as the next rotation will be our second super fresh rotation of Splatoon 3. If you've been following me for a while, you might be familiar with Salmon Report and its rotation rates going from fresh to dry to measure how good or bad the weapon and stage combinations are and super fresh means it is rated 1 on the freshness meter marking it an extraordinary rotation worth checking out. The reason this rotation is so good is because both the Splushomatic and the Bullpoint Splatling are top tier weapons that would better any rotation, but having two of them on the same stage is incredibly lucky, not to mention the other two weapons accompanying them are also pretty good. The L3 and the Jet Squelcher are actually a quite nice combo, even together if you mix them to support each other, as the L3 is capable of splitting any and all close range danger, while the Jet Squelcher as the longest range shooter can split anything that's too far for the other weapons, and on Sakai Station you even have the tower in the middle for perfect positioning. For the L3, while yes, it is a burst firing weapon, it isn't as demanding as its brother, the H3, so don't worry about having a bad time with it, it's a very powerful close range shooter. All the weapons are very easy to play, except for the bullpoint splatling, which I wouldn't call too complicated either, but it does have the double firing mechanic that is mandatory in order to use it as a top tier weapon, otherwise it's just another splatling. But worry not, if you do struggle with the bullpoint, I have a dedicated tutorial video that will summarize and teach you everything to know about the weapon in just under 2 minutes, so barely any time, and after that you'll see why this weapon is so loved by many players. Now I know a lot of you really want to farm and splat some horror burrows, but unfortunately the bad news is that it's once again Koha Zuna in the super fresh rotation. But again, the DPS is so high for this team that no Koho Zuna will be left standing in extra waves, just the sploosh or the bullpoint would be enough alone to have a good time, and you have both of them. So if you were looking to gather some skills, this is the rotation. For night waves on Sakai Station, I have a quick tutorial on how to deal with grillers, and hopefully after extra work most of you are very comfortable on how to handle that night wave, but rush wave could still be a problem, especially with not having a roller on the team that usually makes rush a lot easier. When you only have shooters or blasters, remember to filter the rush wave before getting close to the team. Filtering is the action of getting ahead of the targeted player and splitting chums for them before they get close, so that your team only has to deal with goldies and gathering its eggs. It's an easy and simple habit to learn and will massively increase your win rates on rush modes, especially in freelance. For positioning, it's the very same trick that we use during griller waves, so just stand in front of the right ramp and the basket, no matter where the rush is coming from, they will always approach the right ramp and the targeted player. So remember this if you don't want to get surprised from behind. But that is it for a quick announcement and preparation for the second super fresh rotation everyone. This is a really exciting one so I'll be playing it a lot personally, but if you have the time also don't miss out on having so many top tier weapons in a single rotation, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you need help, remember to check out all the mentioned videos, but if you have any further questions, feel free to ask it here in the comments, or check out the Salmon Report for this super fresh rotation that does have weapon and general tips on how to succeed on it. Thank you for watching everyone, have fun with the rotation co-workers, and I'll see you all the next time.